It's party time. Oh, it's party time. Having a party. What do y'all know about that? It's party time. Didn't I say we were about to get off this island? We are off. We have so much to talk about. What's going on here? We are tilted. That's a lot better. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Whoa. I am in a great mood today. We got a lot to talk about. Where do I begin? If you are new here, then welcome everybody to my channel. It's Kanisha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. I'm gonna start things off with my giveaway winner. My giveaway perfume winner. The first winner. Yes, because we reached 1300 subscribers. And the next 100 we get, somebody else will win. So the first winner is Sandra Chandler. Sandra, you got some Akapaev coming your way, lady. DM me on Instagram, IGKBOTLV, your address so that I can send you your perfume. Thank you so much. I'm not even going to put that back in there because when you send me your address, I want to take care of business and ship it off. <laughs> The plan for today is we are gonna do these unboxings. I've got my Louis to do, and I've gotta show you this jacket. I've gotta show you something. I love, 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 love coats. So I'm gonna show you this jacket I bought, and we're gonna get into these unboxings. And then we're gonna talk about some LVT, all right? So you need to stay to the end. We are going to talk about some tea. Y'all need to hear. Y'all need to hear because I went to the store. It was set up real nice. It was everything. We got to talk about some tea. We got to talk about what it means to be a VIC, okay? VIC, very important client. You don't want to be a VIC. Y'all think you do, but you don't. Y'all think you do, but I'm telling you you don't because it means a lot of money. Just that's what it means. There are some changes ahead. We will talk about in our lives. If anybody wants to send me any questions in advance based off of this video, go ahead and do so. We'll save all the questions for future lives. We're gonna start with this because it leads into the other pieces. My bag for today, this beauty, is the T26. And this is the new model, Louis Vuitton released this year. Based on the old model that comes with the chain, and if you don't want to spend $1,735 for it, go and find it on the resale market. Make sure you get a good one. It's not going to come with the Vachetta panels on the side like this. And I originally thought that was going to be an issue for a toiletry pouch, but no, there's no problems with this bag. None. Okay. I think it's a great bag. I really adore it. So we're going to have to get into that in another video, but um, I just wanted to share that with you. That's my bag for her. That's been my bag that I've been rocking lately. Now, let's get into this. Let's get into this jacket. Wait until you see this. I wonder what you all are going to think. I love, love, love leopard. Look at this. We're gonna see how this fits on because it's gotta look good on or I can't keep it. But it's by this brand that I love. I'm not doing an affiliate video, by the way. Emerson Fry. Over the years, have just really come to love this brand. I've been buying from this brand for, it's got to be 10 years. And it's one of the, my favorites for Black Friday sales. They have fabulous boots, fabulous coats, and then their blouses. I love their blouses for work. I buy their coats for events. I buy their coats to go out. I do a lot of dinners around the holiday time. So I thought this would be perfect. And I love that it's a snap button because I'm someone who needs to quickly get into my jacket because it's cold outside. I don't like to be cold. It's got two rows of buttons on the inside and then it has an inside pocket. I always love what I guess would be termed a masculine feature on feminine 
clothes wear. It's like, why did they only think men wanted interior pockets? Maybe I want to put my little flask inside. So I'm going to try this jacket on y'all because I think it's so cute. And wait until you see the Louis Vuitton pieces that I got. This is what I'm talking about. This is my style. What we cannot do when it comes to luxury and these brands is go and follow other people's style. So even though you're watching me and it's not your style, don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm doing it and sharing it with all of you because you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. But if it's not your style, don't worry about it. But I'm going to tell you, you might not be happy about the future direction of Louis Vuitton, especially if this is not your style. So stay tuned for that. You're going to have to see what's up. All right, so look, you are gonna be like, what's happening? Don't look at the pink, cause the pink is not what's happening with this jacket. We need some black, we need a red to be popping out. But this is what's up. This jacket's what's up. This is a size small. It runs a little bit big. If I was to button it, this is what it would look like. You know what this will be good with? My black Chanel gloves. I can't wait to get them. The best part of this coat is that it's vegan fur. It's not real. I really love that. I don't like it in my pants and this other jacket material that I got from Emerson Fi, but I love it in their fur, their faux fur coats. And I have another one. If you're interested in my coat collection, put a coat emoji in the chat. I want to see it. All right, let's get into some fun for today now look at this <laughs> i don't know what's in each box anymore because they're the same size so we're going to get into this unboxing we're going to start with this one right here it's not funny i don't remember what's in each of them all right here are my receipts here's the first piece after I open them, I'll tell you the story behind them, okay? So here's the first piece. Oh. Okay. All right, so this is the first piece. A new wardrobe staple. It smells so good. It's like they perfume it in here. So this is a size small. What is this? Blue zone crew neck. In case you're interested in the crew neck sweater. Okay. If you're interested in that, I have been starting to branch out. And this is this is I think part of the LVT. I have started to branch into other directions of Louis Vuitton because I have bought a lot of the classic kind of bags that I have seen come out over time that I really want. And I don't just buy all the classic bags just because they're classic. So when we talk about Louis Vuitton classic bags, we're talking about the Speedy, the Neverfull. Those are two classics that I don't have in my collection because they just didn't work out for me. I have the Noe, which I also think is a classic bag. And I bought several other bags over time that I found to be classic. Now, at, at a certain point, Louis Vuitton started going in a different direction and giving us these variations and prints that I wasn't feeling, all right? They just weren't fitting my aesthetic. They're just not for me. I had been turning to the resale market as a result of that. And then my essay, she, <laughs> this is why you don't want to be a Vic. They will send you pictures. They will send you things to tempt you. And I, I was tempted, okay? So I bought something that I had seen earlier in the year that I said to her, if there is another one, it's mine. She reaches out to corporate and they make one for me because I said I want it and shipped it to me. And I went into the store. There's a whole new display. We got to talk about the whole new setup. They're going in a completely different direction, and this is the new direction. Let's get into this unboxing because then we can talk a little bit more about what she said. What is coming down from corporate is party time, party city. It's party time. That's what's coming down from corporate. 
Oh, she knows I love drawstring bags. Thank you. Thank you. She's amazing. So this is my new addition. And I had to get off the Van Island fence for this bag. I couldn't get off the fence for the side trunk bags. I couldn't get off the fence for the Empreinte bag, the Empreinte carry-all bag. But I had to get off the fence for this bag. I really wanted it. I saw it earlier in the year that you need to budget for. I don't care what anybody says, but next year, I'm already setting up my budget for next year for luxury goods. I still need to be happy. And so I do give myself some guidance. We need some guardrails here or we can get out of control. This piece is Famila pouch in mink monogram. You just saw the jacket that I tried on. I love, I know what I like. You need, before you spend this kind of money, you need to know what you like. The inside of this bag looks like this. It's a interior leather lamb skin. So it's very soft. It's a very soft feeling bag. It comes with an interior pocket that I can use. And then that's what it is. This is what the Miela pouch looked like before. I don't think it had a pocket. Maybe it did. I don't think it did. And I think it was a, a little bit smaller than this size. It is a zipper closing. It comes with two straps. It comes with this cute little gold chain, this cute little dainty chain, and this beautiful strap. And I think the strap is canvas wrap leather, both detachable. And then I like that the tab is this canvas piece. And then there's this canvas piece here. So there's no vachetta anywhere. Earlier when I saw this, I said, I really want it, but it was summertime. When am I going to wear it? But y'all, when you get a lot of event invitations, these are the moments to wear your bags because the direction of Louis Vuitton, and this is the hot tea, this is the future direction of Louis Vuitton, okay? So we gotta talk about prices and we gotta talk about things like that because if you don't have $5,000, if you don't have $10,000, you don't have $15,000, you're probably going to be shut out of the future Louis Vuitton market because they're definitely elevating the baseline prices of all their bags, including the new bags that were coming out. We saw that with the side trunk bag. Even in monogram being 3,800 after taxes, it ends up being $4,000. So when you think about a $5,000 bag compared to a $4,000 bag, it's like, is there a drastic difference? They are equally cost prohibitive to most people and yet, this is the future direction of Louis Vuitton is to take us in this direction of elevated prices, which means that you need to be able to afford these things. And by not talking about affording luxury, we're sort of like, I feel like walking blindly to the slaughter. I don't agree with us just unboxing and not talking about prices and luxury affordability and how we should be thinking about luxury because they're changing the game, they're raising the prices, and a lot of people looking at these channels are going to soon find luxury YouTubers to be unrelatable. I don't wanna be unrelatable. I want you to understand that I'm just like all of you and working for almost 20 years, and I have a substantial 401k as well as other investments that I have in place. And if you don't have those things, if you don't have a secure financial foundation, this is the last thing that you need to be worrying about. But I can understand wanting these things. And so I talk about it and I want to talk about how I afforded these things. How in the world can I say now that I want to have a $20,000 luxury budget to afford items like these so I can have four of them if I want? next year you have to start thinking about that now and to not think about it is a disservice to yourself i don't think like that i need a plan i like to lay it all out because when these pieces pop up that i really really want i don't want to feel guilty okay about not being able to do the other things in my life that i need to do i'm just going to play a clip right here about what's in store 
so that you can see I'm not joking. They're not joking so that you can see they're not playing around. Louis Vuitton is not joking with us, you guys, okay? We do need to be on our financial planning game. When I watch billionaires, these people care about their finances. They care about paying their bills. They care about having enough foresight to have thought about financial stability while enjoying all their luxury. That's where I am mentally. And if you're with me, if you are with me to the end, then a drop a shopping bag emoji because that means you're with it. You got to the end and you're with the plan. You're with the plan to shop, but you're with the plan to stay mentally focused here. And we can do that together. Don't forget, I like to shop the resale market too. So I'll be turning my attention there to pick up some of the classic styles that I'm really interested in and really feeling. You can stay tuned and look forward to that. So if you enjoyed this video, then I hope you liked and subscribed throughout. I hope you like and subscribe and you continue to follow me. Go over to Instagram. If you want some perfume, you know what to do. You got to go to wylomilo.com. Drop the code perfume if you want some perfume. Send me your name and email and you'll be on my perfume list. 